If you're actively managing your social media, you're thinking strategically about your word of mouth, you will start noticing that there are complaints. All you have to do is pick up the phone enough and there's going to be some client calling in with an issue. So the key is to figure out a way to deal with this dissatisfaction before it can spin out of control. When I talk to clients about this, the first thing I tell them to do when they are talking to someone who's upset or when they're reading their social media and they see a negative complaint is just take a deep breath. Don't respond. Don't act in passion or in anger. Just listen deeply to what that person is saying. Try to understand where they're coming from. If you look at the classic histories of uh, client dissatisfaction that turns into viral buzz, it's usually because the company wasn't listening. So you can gain a lot by paying attention to the dissatisfaction, but you have to actually act on it. And one of the problems that companies have happened is they don't respond quickly enough to satisfy a client. And a lot of times the issue is not a major one, but someone wants to know that resolution is coming. So having something in place that empowers frontline workers to deal with an issue uh, in an active way, in a compassionate way, hopefully involving the client in a conversation on what would make them happy, and then coming up with some resolution that would leave both you and your client satisfied, well, that's the ideal way to do things. Because you can't look at word of mouth and just hope it goes in the right direction. You need to actually get involved and you have to deal with clients on a personal, individual basis to ensure that when dissatisfaction is there, an answer is coming, it's coming quickly, it's coming compassionately. If you do those things, you're well on your way to success.